Hello, my name is Christopher Fanelli, and in this video series, we'll be going over the entire envelope process. In this video, we'll be using HyperMesh to load in some CAD data, organize the components, and export it for our model in motion view. Let's get started. So, I have my HyperMesh Obstruct interface opened up. Now I need to import the specified CAD. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Geometry Model, Select the CAD file. With the import options shown, select import. Once the CAD is imported in, we can observe the amount of components that are, are available in the model. This model needs to be organized into eight different components for the motion view model. These components include the wheel, wheel hub, knuckle, upper control arm, lower control arm, upper shock, lower shock, as well as the tie rod. So let's create those extra components. In the component browser, we can right click, select create, and update it to the necessary component. This will need to be done for the rest of the components. With the new components generated, now what needs to be done is the previous components of the solids and surfaces need to be organized into their corresponding components. To do that, let's go to the assembly menu and select organize. In the guide bar, we can choose between either solids or surfaces. For the example, I'm doing surfaces, select the bat selector, choose poly nerve part 7, select OK, and we're going to send that to the lower control arm. Hit next, and now we can see that the surfaces are now sent to the lower control arm. Please follow the list on the screen for the rest of the components. Now with the organization complete, we can delete the unused components. And now we can export this as in Geometry H3D. So we go to File, Export, H3D. Choose where we want to save it. And we're at the file type as Geometry Only. Select Export. That concludes this video. Thank you and have a good day.